so i was thinking that because we have deleted literally everything from our main.dat file what if i run this application and i can see here is the emulator and we got this error and error says entry point doesn't contain a main function so think about this it says you don't have the main function so why not start with the main function so let's say main function which is written here so so simple main function is written here so i will save this file and try to run it let's see what it says so if i again run it hmm, it's doing some kind of things and he literally it was running this and after some time you can see this run part is done and if i see my emulator it just have a blank screen a blank screen with a white background what it says it says simply you don't have anything in your main file so here is the main dot dot main dot dot file and what if i try to say print and i will say hello and because we need to give the semicolon so click semicolon and hit save as soon as we hit the save button yeah you can see it is now hot reloaded and that's why it says initializing hot reload but here I can see again it's a blank white screen there is no print of hello but we have a message message is saying it's error actually receive from application method not found so which method it is talking about and it is talking about is the simple which is we can say a class so here we first we need to create a class so I will say class my app and a simple class uh, in any programming language you will create a class like this so we need to just call this class but how we can call a class in this so the flutter and dart combinedly have a function called run app and you can see as soon as i type run this android studio is suggesting me so it says run app and my app name is my app and again it's suggesting me to do this kind of stuff and I can simply say semicolon but we have a problem it says app is not defined so what I will do I will press alt and enter so it will give me the libraries to import because we need to import something so that the dart file know that run app is a function so we are going to use this material dot dart which is something like this so now we have this but still it has some error and now this error is saying uh, my app is not a type of widget so what is a widget actually to show something or to show actually anything on flutter we need to create a class that should have some kind of widget system to make this my app class from a general dart class to a flutter class we just need to extend this class and extending this class means having a functionality of other class and to what kind of class we are going to extend it so just for now we are going to extend with stateless widget and what this stateless widget class says this class has some definition about how things are going to show on our flutter application so this is an abstract class this means you can only extend it you cannot directly use this stateless widget class and this abstract class means only can be extended it has many functions which is we are going to use so without further ado let's move on to the next error we are getting it says missing concrete implementation of stateless widget dot build now next problem what is concrete implementation so as i told you this stateless widget class is an abstract class and we must define some kind of concrete that means a function which must be defined in a class which is extending this class and that a concrete implementation is this one so we need to create a build function so let's create a build function here inside this so i will create a build function so build function and again uh, our android studio has suggested me but what if i just type like this 
what happened yeah again it's giving error it says this has to be a type of widget so i will say widget mm, that's cool and it says now widget function is not valid override because this time it need build context as context and think about build context as uh, something you are getting on this class by default from the flutter and now again one more uh, warning it's not an error so it says function has return type of widget but doesn't return uh, anything actually so this is not returning anything so let's try to return hello but hello is a string and that's why it is giving error it says a string is not a widget <laughs> obviously a stick string is not a widget so what exactly is a widget as i told you flutter is all about the widgets and widgets are uh, it's generally actually a class so a widget is just a class which are already in build in uh, flutter or you can also create it create your own widget also so the simplest widget i will introduce you with is text widget so in this text widget i will say hello and now you can see the error has gone and one more thing i want to do here is giving this a decorator of override override means now this my app class is going to use this build method instead of the build method of this stateless abstract class so this function is not going to use instead this function is used so that's why override so now what if i run it as soon as i save it's still saying received from application method not found i have done everything so let's click on this green button so that it will hot restart it's not just a restart it's a hot restart and this time it has some different error maybe no no error so let's see what happened okay so no directory no directional widget found hmm so it has some problem with the directional widget so what i'm going to do i'm going to wrap this widget with material widget material app widget actually so how we can wrap okay so i will say material app and as soon as i create a parenthesis then i say home and inside home i can put this here and i will save it and now if i go here i have this hello and congratulations we have the hello but let me do one thing uh, let's just undo this and instead of typing a hell lot of things what i'm going to do i will just paste uh, i will just place my cursor here on the text then i will press command and enter and then i will simply say here wrap with a new widget and the widget name is material app like this and instead of child it will just have home and as soon as i save and go it's still here so this is how you create so what a main function or main dot dart file includes main dot dart file is always looking for a main function main function always have a uh, function called run app this run app function takes a, an argument as a class which is which must be a stateless widget and has a function has a concrete implementation of this build function and that build function is always going to return firstly the directional widget and what a directional widget is because this text widget doesn't know how you can place that text so that's why we need some kind of directional uh, widget and now question arises from where I get all these information like there's a text widget, there's a material app widget and all kind of information. So everything is available on this flutter.dev website. And here we just need to go to the documentation, the docs and here we will spend lots and lots of time while learning the flutter and creating the applications using flutter. So the simplest thing is here widget catalogs, the most important thing we are going to use. And just at the bottom you can see we have this text widget and here is the text which we have used as a hello uh, hello 
text to show the hello text actually and then comes this material component and in this material component you can see we have used this material app and that for the directional widget kind of things and that we have used here so all in all every kind of uh, information is available inside this uh, flutter documentation and i will make everything easy for you so in the next episode what we are going to do we are going to see how this hot reload work when it, it is working and when this is not working what if your hot reload is not working when you save and how you can uh, uh, you can say how you can hot reload on demand so everything in the next episode so we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye and just follow me for latest update on twitter facebook instagram linkedin anywhere you want <laughs> so bye bye for now and we will meet in the next episode